Okay. Let's watch a SNL skit. Um, this one's called Close Encounter, which makes me think of Aliens. Close Encounter of the Third Kind. Is that what it's called? Close Encounters of the Third Kind? I don't know. As three people sitting in chairs in the thumbnail. From seven years ago. At least when this clip was posted to Facebook. Or not Facebook. Um, YouTube. I'm Agent Morris with the NSA, and this is Special Agent Kirkpatrick. Now, we know you've all been through quite an ordeal, so we appreciate you making the trip to Washington on such short notice. Yes, you three experienced the first verified case of alien abduction, so naturally you are of great interest to the United States government. It's nuts, man. I mean, <laughs> we're just small-town buds who saw a UFO in the woods. I mean, now we're hanging out with the government. Okay. Now, after the blue light pulled you into the spacecraft, what is your... Okay, so we got three people that have been abducted by aliens. And they look like the pick of the litter. They look like the typical ones that would be abducted by aliens. Um, I think that's Ryan Gosling as one of them. And then the other two are like just regular SNL people. I love the energy of the... The first lady. <laughs> I imagine she has a bunch of cats at home and she's like sitting there all leaning back with her cigarette. <laughs> Crazy hair. Next memory. Uh, I came to and saw a beautiful being made of like a beautiful calming light. Yeah, same here. That being touched my head, and I felt every emotion in its purest form. It was amazing and I cried, sir. Okay, and you, Miss Rafferty? Wow. <laughs> what floor were you guys on? I woke up in a dirty metal dome and uh, 40 little gray aliens watched me pee in a steel bowl. <laughs> when they took the bowl, walked out. Interesting. Were these beings also bathed in light? Uh, no, no. They were uh, gray with big fat eyes, little mouths. They just uh, stared while I peed. <laughs> I don't think I was dealing with the top brass. <laughs> and how did they instruct you to urinate? Was that telepathically? Uh, no, no. I, uh, I woke up, I had to pee like a camel. So, uh, I started peeing and uh, one of the gray aliens slapped the wall and pointed at the bowl. So I got the hint, I kind of ducked, walked over the bowl, peed in there. Yes, I, I see. Now, when you all awoke, were you clothed? Um, I was wrapped in, like, a robe made out of warm, glowing energy. Yeah, like a blanket made out of pure love. Yeah, a little different for me. Um, I, uh, I had my shirt I came in with, but my pants were gone. So, uh, my coot coot was out. I was full porky pig in it in a drafty dome. Now, did you all stay on the same ship the entire time, or...? Well, you know, my body did, but my consciousness was shown what lies beyond time and space. It was so beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm just crying about this thing about... He's breaking up. <laughs> so the two of them are... They had great experiences, and the other one, not so much. I'm not finding this to be super funny, but I'm pretty judgmental about that stuff. <laughs> It's just, eh, you know, okay. A little bit. Do you need a tissue? What? No, sorry, I just, I'll use my shirt. Um, the aliens showed my mind the furnace of all creation, what we would call God. What? <laughs> These fancy cats are seeing God. Meanwhile, I'm starting phase two, which is me sitting on a stool while 40 gray aliens take turns gently batting my knockers in. Did y'all get the knocker stuff? Uh, no, no knocker stuff, sorry. And did you feel threatened, Miss Rafferty? No, 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 no. They were, uh, they were real respectful about it. They were, they were in a line. Respectful. And then, uh, one by one, they'd step up, slap a knocker, and then go to the end of the line, wait for another turn. It didn't hurt. It 
was like, I'm sorry, pardon me, Sharon. It's kind of like that. No harm, no foul. Yeah. It hurts. Yeah, it hurts. Um, perhaps they were collecting biological data? No. No, that felt super off the books. <laughs> I swear to God, there was one gray alien by a door, just kind of peeking. I think he was the lookout. Look, it wasn't my worst Wednesday night. And how did the aliens return you all to Earth? Oh, uh, well, I was carried to <laughs> over there. gently. He's crying. I was carried down gently in a cradle of light placed into a soft bed of wildflowers? Yeah, yeah. The light uh, laid me down like a baby in a meadow near my house. I was smiling and weeping. Tears of joy, sir. All right, well, now this missed me a little bit. Because <laughs> uh, my grand exit was out of what was basically like a big airplane toilet, OK? I, uh, shoot, I dropped down seven feet on the roof of a Long John Silver's. They threw out my pants separately. They missed the roof. My slacks landed in a frickin' pine tree 30 feet away. So I had to just chill up there with my damn coot coot and prune shoot until the place opened up. You got screwed. Oh, you think, Todd? <laughs> well, we'd like to take you guys for physical examinations now. Yeah, all right. They're going to be in a knock or stuff? <laughs> um, possibly. I'm sorry. No, uh, no, don't be. Just be gentle, because they're pretty banged up. <laughs> Tell me about God. What's God's deal? Oh, <laughs> well, that was, you know, mildly funny. Mostly it was funny because of Ryan Gosling cracking up so much. Um, but yeah, I think she got abducted by different, different types of alien. Like maybe they got abducted by one type of alien. She got abducted by a different type of alien. Or maybe they were just like, you know, these two have normal human looking bodies. And this person has a strange comical body. <laughs> So let's just, you know, treat it a little differently. <laughs> this, maybe they thought she was more like a pet, <laughs> not a human being, because of the way she was acting and peeing in a bowl and whatnot. <laughs> I don't know. If they weren't breaking character... I would really think the skit was not that funny. Tell me what you thought in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and have a nice day. Bye.